Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great week. A little while ago, I started creating these funky flowers that weren't anything at all like the flowers you would find in a garden. But what I liked about them is that they were really fun and easy to create. Um, and they really took out that feeling of needing to make something that looked exactly like what you would find in nature. But they look really cool and they're just a lot of fun to create. So I like to keep making them. And this week, that's what I'm doing again. When I'm creating my funky flowers, I usually like to start by working on the center of the flower. It gives me a focal point and it also helps me to just go with the flow and not put too much thought into it. When we get stuck overthinking different projects, the project usually becomes dull and stressful. And that's why I like to keep it as simple as possible when I'm creating these funky flowers. Once I'm done painting the center for my flowers, I start to create my petals. And I create them by using very simple shapes that I repeat around the whole entire circle. Regardless of how simple I'm trying to create my project, I always try to remember one important rule of thumb when working with watercolors. And that is to let all layers dry before moving on to adding a second layer of paint. This will make sure that the paint colors don't bleed into each other.
I've pulled out my gold paint and now I'm going to start adding some very simple details to the center of my flower. Focusing the mind on creating simple patterns is a great way to practice mindfulness. At this point, I'm feeling called to add some texture to my painting, so I've pulled out my mixed in relief medium and I'm going to add it to all of the sections of the painting where I'd like to add some gold mirror effect leaf. Once the medium had cured, I added the mirror effect leaf. And then I decided that I wanted to add some more details by using some of my pens. I like to add some simple details like lines or circles when I'm adding these doodles. The simpler the better. The more complicated we try to make things sometimes, the more stressful things become and then the project turns into work rather than fun. I also like to use this gold sparkle pen to add some details to my paintings and drawings. I really like the way it sparkles and shines and it's just simply one of my favorite pens to work with. Using a white pen is also a great way to create contrast in the areas of the painting where there's darker paint. Now that I'm almost done adding these white details to my painting, I feel satisfied that it's done. The last thing I need to do is take the tape off the paper and voila! Thank you again for joining me on this journey. It was a fun little project to create and I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had fun creating it. Have a wonderful week and happy creating!